Hold your breath. Don't breathe. Don't move. Ultimately, this might be an adjunct to uh, bariatric surgery. My name is Aaron Fishman. I'm an interventional radiologist here at Mount Sinai in New York City. Ghrelin is actually considered the hunger hormone, and ghrelin signals the brain that somebody is hungry and stimulates them to eat. So the concept behind this study is that if we can reduce that level of that hormone circulating in the blood, patients will become less hungry. When we target the, the fundus of the stomach, we're targeting the cells that are producing this, this hormone. What we did was cut off the blood supply that supplies that portion of the stomach to decrease the production of that hormone. Can we hook up the power injector, please? Embolization is very uh, simple. It's really clogging an artery. The way we typically do this is with a variety of agents. We use something that was made of gelatin. This one is going to fund us. We targeted uh, two specific vessels. Uh, the left gastric artery and the uh, right gastro gastroepiploic artery. But the procedure we did was, was, it was a transradial procedure. We actually entered the artery uh, through the artery in the wrist. The traditional way to enter uh, the arterial system is through the artery in the groin, which is called the femoral artery. We've actually developed a technique here at Mount Sinai several years ago to do all of these types of embolizations uh, in the body through the artery in the wrist. There's much less risk of bleeding, much less pain for the patient, much, much less trauma to the blood vessel. My name is Arvind Arapali. I am the principal investigator for the BEAT obesity trial. The weight loss we've seen, or excess weight loss, which is the metric that everyone looks at, at three months we've seen about a 9 or 10 percent excess weight loss. Morbid obesity is such a huge problem globally, and there really isn't many minimally invasive alternatives. I think this would be one uh, facet of, of, a, of, a, of a global treatment for obesity.